Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video, doing the ECM at WF46 Day Slash 6 week again for today's second video, um, and I shall get on that for you in a moment, just save that first video of each day, was our 6M UK World Forecast, got Weekend Forecast, and a day of 14 day coming up coming up for you um, later on today, so please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content, and thank you so much everybody for doing that for Gav's Weather Vids. Right, thanks so much to ECM Day after INT, by the way, for supplying the charts. <laughs> Thank you so much, GC. Okay, going to start off with the uh, week one mean sea of pressure. And obviously, it's going to take us through next week, which will be the 19th to 26th of February. Where did the northern blocking go? Um, <laughs> so you remember, like uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, the EC 46 day of was going for large amounts of northern blocking around Greenland and Iceland. Well, no sign of that on this latest update. So instead, we've got low pressure in the uh, North Atlantic into northern and West Europe. High pressure pulled out into the middle of the Atlantic. That sends projection of wind flow on the northwest southeast alignment. So it might not necessarily be overly mild, but it does look quite unsettled. And the air is coming off the Atlantic, so it's not going to be that cold. We still have a 500 millibar height to Nobling is looking for next week again below average heights uh, in the North Atlantic and into Western Europe with above average heights out in the centre of the Atlantic and the wind projection coming in, something like that. By the way, this is the UK and Ireland focus uh, video, so uh, we do the wider European outlook with this model on a Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so temperature nominates next week. A um, little bit above average, especially so for England and Wales, around 1 to 3 degrees above normal, a little bit cooler up to the north. The main thing about next week is that it's a pretty wet week of a wet wicket um <laughs> with above average rainfall for the uk and ireland there oh dear right well we go over to week two which will be the 26th of february to the 4th of march uh so still with higher pressure in the center of the atlantic still low pressure towards greenland and uh, iceland as well some low pressure through there and I'm probably just still bringing in the wind from off the Atlantic a little bit. Again, there could be a bit of the northwest southeast alignment to the wind flow and jet stream. With that, the 500 millibar heights look like this. Come on, highlighter. Come on. Um, <laughs> with uh, below average heights uh, up to Green Iceland, above average heights out in the Atlantic as a trough of low through there. And so rejection going to be doing something a bit like that, you would have thought. Okay, let's have a look at temperature anomaly then for the second week. And we're reverting back closer to average. No, not cold, although we do see below average temperatures through France, Spain, Portugal. Oh, I mean, we might turn a little bit on the cooler side there as we go into the opening days of March. And it's also becoming a little bit drier as well, especially just out to the uh, west of the country, though it looks a little bit on the wetter side to the east of us. Right, that's that one done. Um, so, <laughs> week three, <laughs> three will be the fourth to the 11th of March. Oh dear, low pressure is back in again across the north and west Europe. High pressure pulling well away from us over towards Canada. Um, though so that just looks unsettled, doesn't it? Not much more to say about that. 500 millibar heights, yes, there's that trough of low pressure uh, in the North Atlantic into west of Europe. I don't think it's particularly cold, this, but it does look as though it would be uh, a continuation of unsettled weather. The temperature is slightly above average there, with wind coming back in from off the Atlantic, and as far as precipitation is concerned, well, it's week three, so it's a weaker signal, but still a hint at being a little bit on the wetter side, if anything, right? Well, let's see what week four has to say. This will be the 11th to the 18th of March. Here we go. And uh, still looking unsettled, oh dear. <laughs> Low pressure just dominating really across most parts of Europe and a bit of a hint of some higher pressure up towards Greenland. Though after what's happened over the past seven weeks, how serious we can take that, I don't know. The 500 millibar height still managing to place 
a trough right over the top of the UK and Ireland. There is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge going up towards Greenland as well. I mean, there's not much to say other than it still looks really unsettled there. The temperature anomaly is around to ever so slightly above average. Notice it is getting colder just to our north. And I expect this will be another wet week. Well, it's a weakening signal, but basically it looks like most of northern and western Europe is probably going to be coming out wetter than average. In reality, right, week five will be the 18th to the 25th of March. Let's have a look. Oh dear, oh dear, low pressure still sort of there or there, <laughs> thereabouts, isn't it? This could be a very, very wet March if this comes off, I have to say. We did have a really wet March last year, so our wettest March last year is in 1981. Could we have a repeat? Um, in uh, March 2024, we've got blocking again around Greenland there. Uh, no evident trough, but I expect there would still probably be a trough through here. Temperature anomalies, again, close to average, a little bit above. And precipitation looks like that, weak signal. But overall, it looked pretty wet, doesn't it? Driest weather's up here where we've got the blocking in most parts of northern, western, even east and south east, you're looking, looking wetter than normal. Goodness gracious me, are we going to get some high pressure? Let's see what week six has to say. This is the 25th of March to the 1st of April. Here we go. No, goodness gracious, low pressure uh, remains in situ there with some blocking away to the north. The uh, 500 millibar heights look like that. The trough actually comes back. Yes, it, <laughs> it becomes more evident from the 25th of March to the 1st of April. We're going to need gills. We're going to need gills and an arc if this goes on. I can't believe it. High pressure still <laughs> still remains away to the north. What about the temperature anomaly? It's becoming a little bit colder, especially so to the north of us. And what about precipitation? Lastly, look at this. Wetter than average there. Especially so focused on more southern regions. We're going to need an arc. That's it. We're going to need an arc. Get the arc ready, everybody. All aboard. Right. Well, what do we make of that, Ben? The deluge, <laughs> the deluge just goes on. We're going to be changing the month and changing the season uh, very, very soon. But weather remains the same. Um, the deluge continues. Obviously, this is just a snapshot. We know this model has been performing absolutely atrociously over the past several months with all of its blocking ideas and hints of, of colder winter where actually we'll finish up an exceptionally mild winter so um again just take it with a pinch of salt it's for fun it's for the interest purposes only um but there we go that's what it's showing today but now you continues right i'm going to be back a little bit later on with weekend forecast and your tens of 14 day so come back for that later for this week's ec 46 day slash six week okay that's all for now and thanks for watching bye for now